In this video, I want to talk about my fasting routine. So I fast every day for 16 hours, 16 to 18 hours every day. So how does it start is that my first meal every day I take around. So I do my morning cardio workout and uh, I do take one scoop of branch chain amino acids, empty stomach in the morning with a fat burner, which is basically sometimes your heme bed seal or, uh, or a caffeine pill. And then after my morning cardio, I do take one scoop of whey protein along with branch and amino acids to do my morning workout weight training, which is for 60 to 90 minutes. And after that, I do take, uh, I do my uh, cardio again, which is post-workout cardio for half an hour. So post, post my morning cardio, I take my first meal around in between 1.30 to 2 in the afternoon. So that's my first meal. Second meal is around 4.30 and third meal is around 6.30. And then after 7, I stop eating. But I do take one scoop of uh, branch and amino acids again in the night before my evening cardio, which is for uh, half an hour to 45 minutes, just very easy walking. So every day I do, I do my fasting from uh, 7 p.m. in the night till next day to in the afternoon so which is uh, which is like around 17 18 hours and then this is every day and then once a week I do 48 hours of fasting so in 48 hours of fasting I eat nothing from uh, let's say I'm doing that fasting on Tuesday so last meal will be on on Monday 7 p.m. so last meal will be Monday 7 p.m. in the evening and then and the first meal will be Wednesday, two o'clock in the afternoon. So that's kind of um, more than uh, around 40 hours of fasting, which I where I eat nothing for a whole one day, almost more than 40 hours. And uh, but I do take again. So the day I'm not eating. So so if I've started my fast on Monday evening, so on Tuesday morning before my workout I will still take one scoop of branch in amino acids and uh, before during my weight training I will still do take one scoop of whey protein and branch in amino acids but that's for the whole day but during that day when I'm not eating whole day I do keep a, a can one or two cans or maybe a bottle of diet coke diet coke or diet pepsi or anything so that whenever I'm feeling hungry, I'll just take some amount of it so that it has caffeine in it. So it definitely act as the appetite suppressant. So I'm, so I pass the day when I'm not eating whole day with, with uh, carbonated drinks, which is like zero Coke or zero Pepsi or Coke zero or diet Coke, something like that. And because I am type one diabetic, so I do have to take care of my insulin so that I do not go into a state of ketoacidosis so for that I regularly I do take insulin on that day also when I'm not eating but I don't take the short acting one but I only take the longer acting one and I just keep on checking my insulin what's my blood sugar level from time to time so that if I'm not going too low or not staying too high the day I'm not eating. Other days I keep my insulin the regular way I've been taking. So this is my fasting. So every day 16 to 17 hours and once a week I go 48 hours. And seeing amazing results. Fasting is so good because you don't have to do much. You just burn fat automatically. And you, because you're not eating calories but your body is still working. You're still doing your workout and so you, you lose a lot of fat, a lot of calories. Definitely something which I would recommend, but for sure it's it's a longer fasting. So you check with your doctor or see if the, you have any complications. Don't go for it. But if you want to go for it, then uh, see the best way you can do it. Yeah, this is this is my fasting routine currently. Thank you.